Now, a common problem with garage doors is that the bottom rubber or the bottom seal wears out. It can tear, it can crack, it can fall apart. It's gonna let cold air into your garage. I'm gonna show you how you, the homeowner, can replace it on your own. Now, not every single garage door has the same exact bottom rubber. Most steel doors have the type of bottom rubber that slides in with a T-channel that's part of a retainer that's screwed to the bottom of your door. Some of them may actually have a piece of foam if it's a wood door that's actually nailed to it. And then there's the other type of door, vinyl, visor, vinyl composites, that will actually have a piece of bottom rubber that slips over the bottom of this section. Now what I'm gonna show you in this video is the type of bottom rubber that has the T-channel that slid into the retainer. All you need to do to replace this is, well, you gotta undo the ends and then you slide it off the door. But the most important part is once you get it off, well then you gotta match it up to the right size T-channel or it's not gonna fit the retainer. Now this slid off pretty well because it's in pretty good shape. It's not an old door, it's not even outside. Most bottom rubber's in pretty poor shape. It's dirty, it's gross. You can cut it off so to slide it off, make it a little easier for you. Now this bottom rubber is designed for a two inch wide door. It's about three and a half inches wide. But you can see, there's all different types. Now, this would be installed on a door maybe that the ground was broken up, not very even, and you just needed a, a more of a seal. You needed the door to reach the low spots in the broken driveway. You can see some are even smaller. This is made for an inch and three eighths door. So the door isn't quite as wide, so the rubber doesn't need to go quite as wide. The T, the actual T on the rubber is gonna have a different thickness based on the manufacturer it came off of. You can see mine is a little bigger, so this wouldn't stay in the retainer. It, it would keep falling out, it would frustrate me trying to install it. Now, if you're able to identify the manufacturer of your garage door, you'd have a much easier time finding the right T size to fit the retainer on that garage door. Now this is the retainer I've been talking about and you see it has two little slots that your two T's on your rubber slide in. Now if this retainer is damaged, you're gonna have a tough time sliding this back on also. Now what you wanna do is you wanna take the bottom rubber and you wanna start it at the very end you wanna start it into these two grooves. Now you wanna make sure the retainer is clean of any dirt and debris and you also maybe want to spray a little bit of a all-purpose lubricant, a WD-40. Spray that into the retainer and it'll make the uh, task of sliding the rubber on a lot easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bottom rubber and I'm going to put it outside of my track. And I'm going to get the door in a position where I have enough room to work with my hands and with the bottom rubber. Don't try to do it halfway down. And you, you just won't have the room to slide it onto the bottom of the door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like I said, feed it in through the outside of the track. I'm going to start these two T-channels. And then once they're started, I'm going to slide it on. You want to make sure it doesn't fall out of the track while you're pulling it across because then you'll just have to start all over again. Now once I have it in position, I don't want to cut the extra off. I want to leave a few inches and I'm actually going to tuck it back into the inside of the retainer. If you cut it flush with the end of the door, what happens is over time it shrinks and then it's short of the end of the door. It's really not sealing the ground anymore. Now, if you had the wrong size T-channel for your retainer, you'd be able to pull this off very easily. And actually, if you left it on it and it froze to the ground, it'd also come right off. So you can see this is the right T-channel size because I can't pull off. Now, bottom rubber is designed to keep the cold air out of your garage. So it is airtight, keep the heat in and the cold out. What it cannot do is keep water out. It is not watertight. So if you have an issue with water, pooling in front of your door, in your driveway, or pulling her off the, 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 the gutters of your house, it's not gonna keep the water out. You're gonna be disappointed if that's why you're changing this. So you can see with a new bottom rubber, you get a nice tight seal, you keep the cold out, and you keep the critters out too. Now if this video has helped you out, press the like button. If you wanna learn more about garage doors, garage door openers, subscribe to the link below. I'm Joe Conti with Precision Door, name you can trust.